Hello everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Aiko and Haru, aka Course Party Blood Cup. Blood Drive. It's Blood Drive. I think I've done that in every single episode. I'm so sorry. So essentially, Haru, well, if you didn't see the last episode, or if you don't remember, Haru lost a friend in this school, and he thinks that they're still alive, but they probably aren't. And Aiko agreed to take him here, and she's here to get the Book of Shadows to sell. So yeah, that's essentially it. Oh yeah, and she lost the stones. Um, I think that she... Uh, let's see here. I don't remember if she lost the stones or not. I think that she still has the stones. I think that she still has them, but I'm not going to uh, rely on that thought. Only time will tell. Can I not go outside? No, nah, I can't. What are those things going on the ground? Huh. Heavily host elementary. Notice to all faculty. Four students kidnapped and murdered. Well, that's just dull. Oh. A heinous crime has recently been committed within the walls of our fine institution. Fine, you say? We're just gonna go with that. Faculty are expected to be questioned about this incident. But please use discretion when answering. Remember, you represent heavily host elementary. Do not present us in a negative light. Principal Takama, wait, Takamine, yeah. In a Japanese, it, like, M-I-N-E, it's not mine, it's Mine. Yeah, their language is weird. Yana Gihoru, no, Horai. Yeah. Yeah, I learned that the hard way in Japanese class. Well, it's a very fine establishment that we have around here. Oh. Oh, I saw that. Oh, it's pulsing. Ew, what is that? Why is it, like, pulsing? Ew. Look at the looks on both their faces in the 3D animation, and now look at them in the 2D. They don't match up at all. He has a smile on his face. Yeah, true. Yeah, so we came here for that. I think that I think that Sayaka is a girl. So we came here to get her, but chances are that she's dead. And Aiko said that. Are y'all not gonna pay attention to, you know, that thing on the wall? That big mass of organs. Um I'm not really seeing any flesh, but I'm assuming there's flesh mixed in there and um Yeah, it's moving. Okay, I just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> you have to turn on the flashlight to see that. Okay. Oh. That's a lot. Okay. Uh. 
Oh, where are we playing as him now? No, I want to play as Iko. There we go. I hate that guy. Iko's cool. Can we not interact with it at all? Let's step in it. Ew. Uh, two crosses. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't have anything for that. So let's just go up here. Come on. Get in there. Wait, what? There are sounds of angry spirits. Oh. Okay. Oh, cool. Drawings. Oh, yay. Finger paint. Yay. Yeah. Small magic circles and pagan symbols are drawn on the stalls in red paint. You mean walls, not stalls? The circle, oh, graffiti. Yeah, I call it that. Look how happy they look. Oh. Yeah, there's some Satan shit. And mixed them with child size handprints. Well, the little ghost girl has it. No, switch back to Aiko. There we are. She's the cool one. Oh gee, I'm so glad this little space is here. Alright, let's go the other way. I'm not going to cut through anything because something might happen. Nope, not that way. Um, let's save again. <clears throat> okay, now we're good to go. Mizuki. Martuba's tomb. Hmm. It sounds pagan. You know, like the symbols that we saw earlier. It sounds like, um, something more that pagans would do rather than Japanese. Hmm. I mean, the Freemasons and the Illuminati do break the law. I'm just saying. I guess more willing to break the law, says some part. Hmm. So, these. Tomb people, Mortuba's tube, or Mart, you know what? Let's just call them tomb. So they aren't set on actually doing magic. They're set on like discovering ancient things that have to do with dark magic and like selling them and using them and all that. That's what I'm assuming. Okay, so I thought there was gonna be like some weird pagan witch society, but 
these tomb people sound like the people to find those pagan symbols and stuff. Okay, I get it. You'd be surprised. Eh, I know my neighbors pretty well. Not one of my neighbors. One of my neighbors is terrible, but the other one's pretty cool. <laughs> you got your funny. That was a random conversation, but okay. Another... Alright, let's just go there. Oh, that's the bathroom, I think. Yeah, I remember that. There was, like, this whole, like, dilemma there. Um, like, I think that it was Satoshi's little sister. There was, like, this whole dilemma where she needed to use the bathroom, and the bathroom was, like, torn down and all that. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, also. Like, Oh, wow. I mean, why would you really need to ask? I mean, there's this thing that I've always had a problem with Course Party. Um, starting with Blood Covered. Well, Blood Covered is really the only one that's done it. Is, um, the whole thing about needing to go find a bathroom when you need to, like, take a piss. Like, it's an abandoned school filled with blood and ghosts and stuff. You can just pee in, like, the corner of, like, a hallway or something. Like, there are worse things that happen in that school. Yeah, that that happened with um, Yuki and Blood Covered. I know that's a girl, but, like, you can just, like, you know what? We're just gonna go on. I mean, if it's available for you, then, yeah, go and use it. But if you're just wondering the school and no bathrooms around... I mean, once again, there are worse things that happen in Heavenly Host. Going to the bathroom in it ain't the worst thing. You're gonna die. Oh, you're definitely gonna die. He's definitely gonna die. Oh, you are so dead. I see a foot. I see a foot. Right there, yep. Hey, I see something sparkling in that sink over there. Maybe a key. That'd be cool. Yeah, what do you think it is? It's a dead body. What did you expect to find here? You already, ex like, saw living walls. You're surprised by a skeleton? Really? Uh, uh, nah, somebody just dragged a fake skeleton in Heavenly Host. Why else would he come here? Oh, and this. Oh, a ring. Is it the one ring? Was it not destroyed? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a nerd. Oh, there's no need to worry, the ring itself is nothing special, it's a ch okay. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna take it. Yeah, like the one in the sink that I wanted to go get. No, Iko's here to make a profit. Iko don't care about helping you. A name tag rests beside the corpse. Well, yeah, every corpse in a corpse party game has had a name tag beside them. I never really got that. 
Like, is that just a thing in Japan where everybody has, like, a name tag? Like, I'm just saying, if I were to find the corpse of somebody, like, that goes to an American school, I would not know their name at all. Like, there would be no name tag, no anything. I never really got that about Japanese schools. People seem to have, like, name tags and student IDs on them all the time. In America, we don't have any of that. Well, we do, we just don't bother to carry it. Yeah, that's just something that I never understood about Course Party. I would go, uh, University High Class 1C, Ukyo Abe. Blood out after throat was- ooh. Hmm. Off subject? Oh, wait. Sorry to keep you waiting. You didn't- Oh, alright, it just skipped through that part, okay. Alright, off subject, but just seeing that course reminded me of something. I would hate to, like, have to rot like that. Like, the only... When I die, I want to be burned. Like, I want my entire body to be burned. I don't want to, like, rot. Ugh, that's the most disgusting thought to me. Just rotting, ugh. Alright, I mean, I'll just drop that. <laughs> All done, alright, let's get going. Nope, switch. Why is it... it why does it always switch to Haru? I don't like that guy. I goes cool. He's got a cool skirt too. I'm sorry that I'm saving so much. But like I said before, in this game you have to save. Is she wearing sandals? Oh. Oh, no. How can you wear socks and sandals? I, well, they're more like stockings or like leggings, but it still applies. There's still something covering your feet. How can you wear sandals with that? Ugh. God, you're a monster, Iko. Alright, let's go back in here, because there was something in that sink. Boop. Come on. It's right there, Iko. It's right there. I'm, I'm clicking on it. It's right there, Iko. Iko, get over there. I swear, woman. Get over there. Nice job. Come on. I Iko. Get 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 the thing in the sink. I go get get the thing in the fucking sink, I go. Oh nice job. Yeah, that was your fault. There's something oh wait, what? Oh. We're gonna try this again. No, don't. Quick, go on. You guys see the little control thing right now. You see what I'm doing. Watch, watch, watch. Just. Do it. Do it. I'm clicking on it. Pick up the. Damn sparkle thing. Oh my god. I go, it's right there. <gasps> oh thank god. I wait, I went through all that trouble for bandages. I got damaged in the process of trying to get that and I get <laughs> Oh my god. So I get damaged twice and the and the time I spent trying to get that. I thought that was going to be like a key or a name tag or something useful. And then it's bandages to fix the wounds I just got trying to get it. That is the biggest fucking troll ever. 
I'm still gonna use it though. Use it on Aiko, I don't care about Haru. You know, I just realized something, but there's no toy in that one stall that we went into. I just want to point that out. Oh, there's murals right there, though. Okay, I get it. I can already see that. Ico's going to be very uncooperative, this entire thing. Like, you guys saw me trying to freaking control that. Come on, Ico. Don't do that. Alright, there we go. Alright, I think I'm going to call the episode there. So, we discovered quite a few things. Um, didn't really pick up too much stuff. Er, yeah, that's pretty much it. But we did discover some new things. And I think that counts as a good episode. So, if you guys like this, then do feel free to leave a like. And uh, yeah, I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.